Hey guys, we are Growing Up Without Borders and today and for the next few days we are going to take you around Queenstown, New Zealand. Yes, so make sure before you continue watching the video to subscribe because we're going to take you on a tour of the whole world. So if you want to join in on the fun, click the subscribe button. Here we go, arriving to our new home away from home for the next few nights here in Queenstown. We've got a beautiful view of the lake and it's literally walking distance to the town. And this is our unit. This place is called Alexis. They have uh, these little apartments like this. So let's go for a quick tour. This is the living room. We still have carpet, which is nice. So we'll be able to somewhat work out. They have a nice kitchen. I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, looks like it's well equipped with everything you need, which is always good. They provide us with some tea and coffee. They have a washer and a dryer. Wow. That's always nice. Then they have a bedroom down here. Look at that. You even have a really nice little view of the city of Queenstown in the distance. Cool, it's beautiful. This is the bathroom and shower. Very nice. And then let's go upstairs. They have a smart TV. Because you need to be smart to watch Netflix. Oh, look at your room up here. Wow, you guys are like in a little chalet or something. So this is the girls' room. They have two beds here and another bed here. So loads of space. You guys are gonna like, you guys can put up the nebula and watch a little movie night in here. It's like a little penthouse, you could say. Like a not, little, oh, they even I don't know they actually have a TV like a here. Little... They're like a smart TV that goes out. So this is where we're staying. So now we get to go show you around beautiful Queenstown and show you some of the top, top attractions to see and do when you're here. Are you unpacking? Yes. Where are you putting your clothes? Are you tired of living out of your suitcase? Yeah. Um, Are you gonna unpack? Right there. No. I never unpack. Not even at the last one. Queenstown is a scenic little town in the South Island of New Zealand. It's one of the, or at least considered one of the most beautiful regions and offers year round attractions. The town sits on the edge of Lake Wakatipu and is surrounded by the Southern Alps. The most beautiful views are called the Remarkables, which is the mountain range, and it sits right on the opposite side of the lake. So right behind us is where they do the skyline tours, and as you can see, you can take up, you can go up with a gondola, and then they have even people paragliding. It's so cool. bakery, basically Ferg everything. And it's like super well known. Apparently there's lineups sometimes to get your burgers. They're that good. We don't know because we haven't tried the burgers, but we've tried these. They're like these like little meat pies and they're delicious, so. The town caters to tourists from a wide range of budgets, from backpackers to luxury travelers. It has all different types of stores and boutique style shops to discover in their downtown core. So there's all these amazing boat tours that you can do when you're here in Queenstown. I'm just walking by all the different ones. It looks like some offer dinner cruises, some offer overnight where you go and you sleep on the boat. It's just really nice. And then this one here is the actual steamship one. The big steamship is actually called Lady of the Lake. She's quite an old ship. And another way people get around is by these little water taxis here. So 
I guess there's no real easy way to get to some of the areas, so they just take water taxis back and forth to some of the different towns. And this area here is the boardwalk. Looks like there's some nice restaurants and cafes in there. Oh, they're after the bad stuff. They're getting cookies, Tyler and Chloe. Oh my gosh, look at the school this year. Holy, look at that. One thing they do here that seems so cool is they go around on these really cool jet boats and basically they dodge all the boulders as they go through down these little paths like this. Is that not the craziest thing ever? Okay, so some of the fun, cool things that I didn't know before arriving here is bungee jumping and these river fast speedboat jet tours that they do were invented right here in Queenstown. And just only five years ago did they have their very first traffic light, which means that this whole area is built upon tours and tourism. So some of the top things to see and do while you're here is there's a glacier tour, there's a heli tour, there's the bungee jumping. And if you're too scared to do bungee jumping, you can actually do this thing called a swing, which is kind of the same thing. They even have virtual reality right now, bungee jumping, so you can put it on and feel like you're doing it. Um, what else do they have? Milford Sound, which we'll show you tomorrow. Some of the lake cruises, the horseback riding, paragliding, zip lining, wine tours and stargazing because they have the most beautiful skies here so there's so many things to see and do and every season is uniquely different depending on what time of the year you're here oh my gosh this is so funny i was just about to go film a bunch of sheep and there's a whole bunch of sheep in this truck beside me whoa what do we find sheep Look at its face, it's like, who are you? Look at all these sheep. This is the spot here where they actually do the bungee jumping and where it was, one of the spots anyway, where it originated from. Absolutely nuts. This is really exciting because I want to do this when I'm older, bungee jump. Would you do it now? Um, I'm gonna start off with like the canyon swing, like a swinging version, that way I get used to it, and then maybe I guess. Just a short ride from Queenstown are all these different beautiful wineries. We went out to discover a few of them and they were just starting to open up after the lockdown. to go for a nice picnic or just have a walk in the nature is the Queenstown Gardens. The Queenstown Gardens are botanical gardens with lots of native and exotic plants. There's also a really nice pond, a beautiful bridge, and a park, and lots more. Oh my gosh, the ducks are loving the girls. Look at them all, coming for you guys. They're attracted to you guys. What in the world? I think you guys are feeding them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what is happening? I swear. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. This is what they were expecting Julia to do. This is it. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. staying at the Alexis is only a short walk and a short distance into town and today we're on our way to go mountain biking Yay! This is super exciting so here we are we're going with a bike rental company here right in Queenstown it's called around the basin and basically they have this nice little shuttle bus like this 
they're gonna shuttle us over to the wineries and then we're gonna take all the little winding roads and bridges over the bungee bridge all the way to Arrowtown and we're gonna go finish it off with probably some nice ice cream and maybe some yummy food. Where do we, uh, where are we starting girls? The bungee, bungee bridge. Place. The bungee bridge? And what's cool about this bungee bridge? Where people go bungee jumping. Yes. And if you didn't know, it's where they invented bungee jumping. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what we're gonna go show you first. Here's our lovely bikes. We're gonna watch somebody jump. Let's go. This is the coolest thing ever. Say there, Julia. So, this is actually how they first started um, bungee jumping. It was in like the Pacific Islands in Vanuatu, and they did it to become like when you became a man, you just jump with vines. Crazy. This is crazy. Such a gorgeous day today. Oh, this is incredible. I love it. gorgeous country. It is so pretty, so beautiful, and the trails are amazing. Here is the famous Arrow River where they found all the gold. So I wouldn't say the trail is intense but there's definitely a lot of ups and downs and it's a really good workout. We did it a little slowly because we crossed over the bridges and took time taking pictures and enjoying the moment. And then we took little breaks to enjoy the scenery, but it's magnificent and it's an absolute beautiful ride. Definitely highly suggest doing it if you're coming here to Queenstown. What? So we just arrived in Arrowtown it was about 15 to 20 kilometers and my legs are sore and I'm tired, but the views are incredible. Was it easy or hard or medium? So there's a lot up and down hills, but the path was pretty easy. But yeah, there's a lot of hills that we had to walk up. How's Angelique doing? Ah. The girls are in the bathroom and apparently it's very funny. So they have these automatic bathrooms and all you can hear coming out is these little giggles like hee 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 hee. Let's see what they think of their bathroom experience here in New Zealand. Oh, it sounds like there's music in there. There's music. I heard music playing in there. What was it like, girls? Uh, it says you have 10 minutes to get out of this bathroom. It was funny. It was like almost like an Asian minutes? restaurant because um, 
like an Asian restroom because it plays music and everything. How's your French baguette? After a long bike ride, we went to get some delicious gelato and chai tea. So good. You guys deserve an ice cream. After that bike ride, we needed some food, so we quickly got some food, and now we're gonna go do an escape quest. Yes. That's the name of it. Escape quest, escape, escape room. Which one did we choose? There's four. There's four rooms actually. We and chose that's one that's about gold. Yes, because oh. arrow, because it was in the Arrow Town today. Uh, here's Here the different go. ones. Okay, gold one quest. So we did the gold heist. But there's like murder and the Prince of Wales. There's another murder. Neil that Rain. one's the hardest. Yeah, we picked it no, between. That one's the hardest. We didn't want to go too hard because we do want to be able to escape and get out of the escape room. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, it's all themed for us. Tell me about this gold heist. What happened, girls? Basically, it's a true it's a true story that happened in Queenstown back in the 1860s, right? Yes. And we're gonna basically time travel. It's about the gold heist and how the gold was stolen. All right, let's go find the gold. So we escaped with like six minutes, I believe. And we did actually pretty good, surprisingly. Yeah. I almost thought we weren't gonna make it because at the very end we were almost done, but we were. I was nervous. I want to see the beep 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 beep. Who stole the gold? We decided to take a drive up to Glenorchy, which was only a short hour drive to get there. Although there was not much going around there, it had spectacular views. It's just so crazy. So we're following this bird for the last five minutes and he's literally just guiding our vehicle ahead of us. Just driving or flying in front of us. It's crazy. It's beautiful. I think he's enjoying the view as much as we are. So if you wanted to go to Milford Sound by car, you basically have to go all the way back towards Queenstown and you go all the way around. But technically, if you were to see it on a map, it's right behind us. So if you're taking a helicopter ride, you get there in like probably 20 minutes, boom, done. But yeah, to drive is, is three hours, a good three hours from Queenstown. I swear, Kiwis do not feel the cold weather like other people do. It is seven degrees Celsius out right now, which is not that warm. And over in a distance over there, right over there, I don't know if you can see them, but they're wearing shorts. So they've got like warmer coats, but they're wearing shorts as they're fishing. And it is not warm. So something everyone's told us to try before leaving Queenstown is the Ferg Burgers. And let me just say, they do live up to their mark. They were so good and just homemade and mm mm mm. Thanks so much for watching our tour of Queenstown. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.